Yeah, we'll, we'll just go live. All right. Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today. Breaking news. I might have been out for a little bit longer than the breaking news uh, period, which is an hour. Uh, I'm a Maryland Church fan. Mark Trojan um, has decided uh, to resign, even though it kind of looks like we even know go, he might have actually been forced to resign. Um, after uh, ten plus seasons with uh, the main on Trojan Four, I continue. Um, I like to thank Mark Trojan for his ten plus years as Mary head coach. You usually don't get a head coach for ten plus seasons, so I like to thank him for that. I know I've been critical of him. I'm about to get kind of. I'm, I am going to say a few critical things about him um, in this video before I talk about the future for Maryland, but um. I, I do appreciate him being around for ten plus years. I mean, that's you don't usually get a coach for ten plus years. So, thank you, Mark Trojan, for that. Uh, now to the real point of this video. Uh, number one, uh, I'm very happy about this move. I am extremely happy about this move uh, because the Mayor Mayor Maxwell has a, sh a chance now to hire a coach that ceiling isn't the, just making the Sweet Sixteen. Uh, Mark Trojan, God bless him. There was only a certain high ceiling he was going to hit. And he had a really good team this year. They, they're 5-3. and three. They have been struggling this year, including uh, the past loss to Virginia Tech, which isn't a horrible – which is – um, well, the Virginia Tech loss, which is horrible. The uh, Louisville loss, not good. And then losing George Mason. I mean – and listen, you look at Mark Trojan. I mean, he, the, as a uh, – Eric Raffleck, uh, yeah, Eric – Oh, let me get the athletic director Damon Evans. Um, I, basically, I I think this was forced. I I don't think this was Trojan's decision. Just reading from the article here on ESPN. Um, but you just look at um, Maryland. This is a good. I think in the long haul, this could be a good day for Maryland. I really do. Um, they got hired the right coach. Uh. Dan Manning played for Trojan in Kansas in the 80s um, when um, he actually played with Trojan at Kansas in the 80s. Um, is going to be the interim here for um, the for the rest of the season. He'll get an opportunity here. Um, but we'll see. We'll see who they hire. I, I, in my opinion, I think Maryland is a very good job for basketball. I think it's definitely one of the better jobs in the uh, – country i think if you look at um around the country i mean obviously duke north carolina and some other tier one jobs like at gonzaga villanova obviously ucla indiana there's tier one jobs but i think man was a pretty good tier two job for college basketball so in my opinion um i, I think uh Man, we should have a good shot to get a good coach in here who hopefully has a higher ceiling. Uh, not Raheem. Thank you, God. I won't go that far. Thank you, God. I mean, true, listen, at the end of the day, true, Trojan was a decent coach. He just had a certain ceiling, and that ceiling wasn't good enough for me. Great recruiter, horrible coach, just like Loxley. I get – I mean, I, I personally think Loxley's a better recruiter than Trojan, personally. Um. Al, as I said, Trojan's not a bad coach. Trojan, if he was a bad coach, Maryland would not be – I mean, I think Maryland made the tournament six out of his ten seasons. It would have been more like he, they would have made the tournament three out of his ten seasons. I, I mean, I don't think he's a bad coach. I think he's a decent coach. I just think there's a certain ceiling with him. That, that's just my opinion. I think he will thrive at a mid-tier, maybe like a max school or something program. But – um. As a place like Maryland, that's a, a tier two job in college basketball. Um, in my opinion, I just don't think that um, he was a, he was the right coach for that job. I just don't. So uh, it is with five uh, NCAA tournament appearances. I thought of uh, five in the last seven. So he made five out of the last seven. So I mean, as I said, I wish him well, but. This is a great opportunity for Maryland to get in here, hire the right guy. It's a great opportunity for Maryland to do that. 
As I said, tier two basketball job could very well get on a hot streak win the tournament. It's been done before. Look at 2002 with Gary Williams. So just want to get my quick thoughts on it. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you do that. This is McD the B signing off.